We <laughs> just made it to Gunflint Lodge. We are here for five days, I think. Five days, right? Mm -hmm. And we are going to be taking a lot of pictures. So check out their website to see some of our pictures. We're here, me, Corey, Nora, Ethan, and we're gonna be doing pretty much every activity. Maybe not every activity, most of the activities here. We think this is our cabin, uh, but we're gonna go double check before we just walk in the door. We saw some wild roses right outside our cabin already. So it's gorgeous. What kind of tree is that? That right there is an aspen. How do you know it's an aspen? You can tell because of the way it is. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. <laughs> How can you tell? Because of the way it is. <laughs> is That's that funny? how you guys said it. Is that funny? There's the lake. There's Canada on the other side. We didn't see a moose on the way up here. Yeah, it's but just too hot. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Where are we at? We're at Gunflint Lodge. We're at the lodge. This is the lodge. Very nice. Yeah, this is the lodge. If you haven't heard, this is the lodge. Look at that. We checked into the lodge and found out that we were right about which cabin was ours. So then we went to check out the cabin on the inside. Yeah, you know, I think I'll just oh, stay no. here. <laughs> Moving here. in. Yeah. <laughs> Forever and ever. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hot chocolate! Nice for four. If you guys don't know, I kind of have a hot chocolate addiction. I have like, it's my it coffee. Is. <laughs> these are, these are mine. Okay, those are Nora's. <laughs> You're gonna it's pick. Like, ooh, squirrel. I picked this one. Mm. That one's Jody's. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, you can sleep on the couch. What? Dang, dude, I could have like a whole entire party, y'all are invited. <laughs> Holy moly. Are they both the same? Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty much. I don't know. Okay, so this one has that stuff. Make an inventory. Same exact stuff. Ooh, a grill. Oh. Clear too. It's crazy how clear the water is. It's a little bit cold. I don't think I'm gonna get that. We look like the mermaid. We do the mermaid pose. The aerial pose? Yeah. Like, and you just see the waves splashing up and be. <laughs> Lovely. What's your honest review about this place? Or like, what do you think is really nice? We've had dinner so far and it is fantastic. How was the food? Um, it was really good. I had steak. Yeah, sirloin tip steak. Yeah, really good. Superb. But that can't compete. Ethan had the lumberjack. The lumberjack burger. And how was that? Top of the line. I only wish my stomach was a little bigger. All pieces. And then it goes up the next conveyor and it splits it. We don't have it. You know, we just gotta see the behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see him making a steak. Like Christmas morning. Let's see oh, what I need. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Nice one. Okay, you're not gonna do every pack of crab crackers individually, are you? The footage is getting shaky. <laughs> it's a never ending graham cracker supply. <laughs>
by that I was really mad at you in my dream. Like, I don't know what you did or something. I don't even think I had a dream. We were to be arguing honest. over an object. <laughs> and he wasn't letting me have it. So. <laughs> We are about to have breakfast. Last night we had dinner here, and what did you have? New York strip. Yeah. And I had beer battered walleye. Ethan had uh, uh, lumberjack burger. Yeah, lumberjack burger. And it was so yummy, so we're excited for breakfast today. Hello. And then we're going hiking, and then other stuff. <laughs> Lots of stuff today. We're going to teach them how to play with cribbage. We're gonna try. Dude, it's been so long since I've played cribbage. When there's a board sitting out, you just can't help but try. So we are about to start hiking. We're gonna go up there. I, I can't tell. Yep, right, right there. there. Yep. That's right. That's where we're going. So we're gonna head up the trail right now. It's called High Cliffs Hike. And it takes about 45 minutes, but we're gonna do it faster than that. What? How are you feeling today, Nora? <laughs> Tired. More like, how are you feeling today, Dad? It's gonna be chased by mosquitoes, but it's gonna be great. <laughs> you gonna have fun? Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Hello. Oh, you're recording. Yes. Oh man, I'm going downhill. <laughs> I would say it's an intermediate climb. Not impossible, but not flat in elevation. You just So this is a little overlook spot, but the oh. best spot oh. is like right up around the corner. Not so close yet. For a little bit. Half a second. We made it all the way to the top. Pretty amazing, isn't it? How was the hike? Oh, it was difficult, but we survived. Just over the side of the rocks. edge. Are there rocks? Big old boulders down there. Hey, there was a glacier that probably came right through here. Carved it right out. Do a picture like this. It's like a little bit cloudy. Um, it's kind of humid, but it's not too sunny, not too hot. It's perfect for hiking right now. We saw some beautiful lady slippers up by high cliffs that we had to stop and take some pictures of. Now we're heading back to the main area of the lodge. Pretty awesome trails, huh? Made it back down. We made it. Ready for the next bath. <sighs> you gotta. No, I'm not. I gotta take <laughs> yeah, so they have. We did high cliffs. They have mid cliffs. They have lookout point, but we'll do that on the zipline. 
Um, there's Lonely Lake. We could walk to a lonely lake. There's the interpretive trail. The interpretive trail has like signs that tell you what kind of trees you're looking at. And I think some of the plants, it's like a trail with little signs basically. Kind of cool, but we just did one of them. Hopefully we'll get to do a couple more while we're here. But that one's my favorite. Also, Lake Superior is home to more than 80 species of fish, including lake trout, walleye, and whitefish. It, also, it is also surrounded by many beautiful parks and forests, such as the Superior <laughs> National Forest and Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. We have to go everywhere. We're going to go everywhere. <laughs> and we're going to bring you with us. <laughs> Where do you want to go, Nora? Um, you told me a place you wanted to go. Um, the Black Sand Beach. Yes. Can you tell me a place you wanted to go that was in a different country? Um, Germany. Yeah. Ready to go fishing? Alright. Pond tuning? We're going to the pontoon. We're renting a pontoon for a while. We're gonna go maybe do some fishing, do some chip eating, <laughs> maybe go check out a waterfall. But if we do catch fish, we can bring them into the kitchen and they'll like cook up our own fish for us for dinner. That'd be kind of cool. Um, and they have like a little fillet house so you can fillet the fish in the fish fillet place. Um, I think sometimes they'll fillet it for you, but we can fillet our own. Seat conditions, nothing ripped or torn. Yeah, a little wear and tear, a little dirty. So you can see on there that there's fish. Like a vexilar. Yeah, it's like a vexilar. It's kind of cool. Are you catching them? Not yet. I am. <laughs> 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 we just came the long way down Gunflint Lake, which is like six ish to eight ish miles. The beaver stick. So that is the start of the trail that will take us all the way to Bridal Veil Falls, which I haven't been to in a long time a couple years. Corey's never been yet. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, you just have to swim to it. Place this rock somewhere. The
Tasted water. Are you tasting the water? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't really have any weird taste or anything. I mean, maybe a little bit of iron from the water and rocks and stuff. I want to climb up there. Go dunk your head underneath the waterfall. We um, came over to here to this little bay area next to um, Gunflint Lodge. Gunflint Lodge is right over there. And this is Cross River. Um, and we're gonna fish here because we um, didn't wanna fish off the docks at Gunflint Lodge because there's currently firefighters going in and out. I mean, that might be done actually for the night now, but they were going in and out. Um, with planes and stuff because they're sending people out to a forest fire that's not right here. It's pretty far away, but um, we didn't want to get in the way. So we came over here to go fishing for the evening. And whoever catches the first fish wins what? A prized picture with Jody. <laughs> they don't care about that. All right. Um, you robbed that left back at the... I'm so sorry. Jody's at a disadvantage. She doesn't have her rod. I didn't even notice, so that's how much <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's going on? I think eight and alive. <laughs> so somebody shoved me in this bag. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, mate. The the bug net jackets that we have are so big that she could pull it all the way around her whole body. So not even her feet can get bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wish I gave the one with sunglasses. Mm. That's cute. Or Minnesota. Father's Day shopping. Yes, Nora and Ethan are gonna pick out something. Nora. For their dad for Father's Nora, Day. Can I get this? Nora, you should get dad this one. That's cool. Can I have stretchy? <laughs> I'm just trying to <laughs> That one's kind of funny. Cute. I don't know which one I want. I want to get him one of these ones, like one of the ones that have like the move, because he look. I showed it to him and he looked at it and started to laugh. So hopefully, whenever he looks at his fridge or wherever he puts it, he starts to laugh. Yes, that's a good idea. I think he'll love it. Yeah, I already know that I'm getting this for sure. For sure? You're gonna get the mug? This mug you played this one out. Do you know how much this is? Okay, and you have gotten that. Okay. You're gonna lay in bed and open it? It's a coffee mug okay, from Gunflint Lodge. Look oh, at that. I'm trying to shine the light it's so we can nice see it better. That's one that I wanted. Isn't that? Yeah, he said you liked there it. There you go. That's very nice. And Thank it, you. And it matches. Look at the back. 
Yes, it matches our... Oh, look at that. It's got the pine trees on it, like our other ones. Yeah, it matches, but this one has gunflint on it. It's kind of cool. Me and Colt. To me and Colt. Since Colt isn't here. Candy? It's a moose! How cute is that? Oh, look at him run. Isn't that so funny? It's hilarious. <laughs> we tried to stand him up. He just looks ridiculous. His legs just collapse under him. <laughs> There's something else in there. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. That'll be fun Thank for the fridge. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It's a Swiss Army, Army, Swiss Army, Army fish. <laughs> get the price off yeah. <laughs> thank you you showed me this off oh, for sawing branches <laughs> there you get your fish hook cut in. here's a scissors cutting your line for when you're doing stitches oh my gosh Onto the trunk of his mane. Look what ends. Oh, yeah, for sure. Beautiful. How was horseback riding? It was great. Definitely sore afterwards. It was a workout. It was a beautiful ride, though. I you laying down to relax? Yep. Trying to recuperate until our next adventure. Yeah. Maybe get the canoes out and go for a canoe race. Canoe race? Ethan's getting ready for fishing. Did you like horseback riding, Ethan? Yeah, it was actually a lot easier than what I thought because I got trained horses here. So it's like literally all you had to do was like kind of lean a little bit to make sure you don't fall off the side of it and you kind of just like you can go so better than expected it's like going fishing with a 50 year old man <laughs> they know what they're doing <laughs> don't try to correct them <laughs> um it was really good except my horse she wanted to take lead so i had to kind of keep her from going yeah, and horse is she definitely. kind of went into a trot going down the hill but like it was a baby trot we're gonna do the short, quiet walk. All right, I'll follow you. You wouldn't call it quiet? It's like birds and...
<laughs> it's so short. I need <laughs> a short quiet walk. Maybe it's like, very short. Maybe like five or four of these put together. There we go. Short quiet walk. That is a very short complete without the boys. Without the boys, yes. Can. So we're not skunked anymore. We got one. It was hard fought. The wacky worm did its trick again. You want to try on a wacky? <laughs> How's it going? Lovely. What kind of fish did you catch? We caught a smallmouth. Caught it. I did. And then I tangled up my line, so he told me to use his rod. Okay. He told me that. I didn't just take it from him. <laughs> Oh, we gotta stop this. <laughs> this is so nice. We have two people running the carriage for us. It's a beautiful day. Those make me feel so little. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nora was here too though, she'd love this. So what did we just do? We went on a carriage ride, a romantic carriage ride, up into the woods and there were lupines along the roads and a whole bunch of wildflowers, it's like the best. And then they unhooked the uh, horses from the carriage and we got to watch and they put them away. And now we're up here by the other horses, by their pasture, so we can take pictures of them and check them out. And the kids are out fishing right now. They're with Joey, who is a fishing guide here. And he also sometimes does kids fishing fun, where they take kids out to go fishing. Sometimes it's their first time ever, sometimes the kids have like fished before. But Nora and Ethan have obviously fished before, but they're out with him on the lake, hopefully catching fish while we're hanging out here doing this. You all right there, Cedar? Hi. I think I you just you woke did. up from a nap. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, Tex? Oh, right in the eyeball. I'm sorry. <laughs> He'll be all right. See that? Got a fish. Pull it back. <laughs> well, I'm proud of him. He may not be the biggest fish in the lake, but first smallie. Oh, I forgot to give him his lunch back. <laughs> Find some more, I'm sure. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that. <laughs> She's all feisty, huh? That's for sure. Oh, look how chunky he is. Hey. 
River fish. <laughs> he got yeah. some belly to yeah, it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> well, very, good, bud. very good. God, it's a beautiful fish. There are builders over there in that calm water. Nora has a smallie. Come on, mister. I don't know how strong my line is, dude. Oh, you're good. I got good it. Good job. Yay. Look at this bad boy. Really? He finally caught a fish. Really? <laughs> he said to come to this area. <laughs> Well, you fulfilled your job as a Yay. guide for us. You got the big one. Yeah, oh, I yeah, think that's I the biggest the big one so far. <laughs> oh, Dang. yeah. Well, goodbye, mister. All right, good job. Chew down some pine. Ooh. <laughs> what there. do you think, Ethan? It's fun. We'll have to go again. What would you rate your customers help? Ten out of ten. Off the drop off. Yeah, when I came in here on Tuesday, I watched like 20, 30 walleyes down here in the corner come out into the main part of the lake. That many? Yeah. Holy. Yeah, I turned around there because usually I come in, I usually will see bass and suckers and stuff. And so I seen all those fish, and I was like, well, look at all the bass. And then I looked closer at them, and I was like. Well, they're all walleye. I was like, oh man. <laughs> That's crazy. There's like 20 of them. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what we did. Lock. We couldn't get him to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Down, watch for any sand signals and you are good to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Way to kill it. You made it perfectly. What's that? You made it perfectly. Yeah, Quick blur. To still see the remains of the Ham Lake fire here in 2007. Good to go, Corey. You can see them up on the ridge line. There's some dead trees that are just super bare. Also, over here, where it's just there's not many trees, it's just underbrush. It's new growth. I'll take you up next.
Yeah, there's a place in, I think, North Carolina that does a zip line, or I mean, a Superman zip line, where you lay down in two swings. Oh, I think I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. I've done it. It's super fun. Uh, it does kind of hurt, but... <laughs> He's gonna stay oh, back. Gonna quit here. I knew you, man. That's alright. I'm scared of heights, so this is like. Very exciting. Great time. Highly recommended. Yeah. Professional yeah. staff. <laughs> they are good staff. Beautiful weather. You get on to the to the climbing very easily, and you get how to do it. Yeah, you learn it quickly. What are you getting ready for? Our lovely, romantic pontoon dinner cruise. Aww. Gotta look my best. We had zip lining this morning, then we did some photos of some cabins um, that are new here at the lodge, and then we kind of relaxed a little bit. We walked around. Um, we were going to go canoeing today, but we ended up going canoeing yesterday and we didn't quite have enough time to do like the picture things plus canoe all the way to the waterfall, the little rock, is that what it's called? Now I'm questioning. The little waterfall on the other side where you go across Gunflint Lake and then through Magnetic Lake and then there's like a little waterfall. We didn't quite have enough time before the pontoon dinner cruise, so... We recouped <laughs> a little bit. We're gonna go do the pontoon dinner cruise and we're thinking we might do like a movie night because the lodge has DVDs and like VHSs even I believe that, maybe just DVDs, that you can get from like the little entryway in the, in the lodge and you can just take them and use them and watch them and then bring them back. And they also gave us popcorn in our little welcome basket. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. I've got like my filming and photo stuff out and we also have gotten a few different shirts from the lodge and we just got it kind of everywhere, but we're planning on maybe doing like a movie night and hanging out in the hot tub. Tonight we'll see and maybe play some cards. Last night, who won cards last night? I forgot. Of course I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you having fun? What's your favorite thing so far? Hmm. You're all shaded. <laughs> What's your favorite thing? Um, gotta be the food. The food has been ten out of ten. Yes. Great food. Think. Every plate we've had. Yeah. Every different dish. I'm gonna take a picture. All right, you guys can follow me down here. <laughs> Why do a lot of um, largemouth bass? Yeah, Florida. they're everywhere around yeah. here. Are they? Yeah. And then my girlfriend, she's um, I haven't done to be honest with you, I haven't done a lot of golf fish right down there. One, there was like four of them. I don't know if you just had a cackle. I don't know. And then they started you know, coming down towards the bridge, and then they all went up. We just had our dinner cruise and the food was so good. It was seriously, like honestly, so, 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 so good. Um, unfortunately though, we have just eaten so much today that like we were stuffing ourselves to the brim and like couldn't eat it. And it was like, we ate it, but we couldn't finish our plates like we normally do. Um, and it was kind of sad because the food was so good and we had dessert and the captain was super fun and told us all about his fishing 
things and telling us stories about fishing. And now, <laughs> they just ate bug spray. Now we are going to do the magnetic rock hiking trail. Are you okay? I inhale. You're not supposed to yeah, freeze on the bug spray. The Ringing a moose to stick on the rock. Cool. Got it for dad for father's it? But hey, we don't, we're not gonna buy another magnet, so we're just gonna use moose. I've seen moose here before, and I've seen moose in the one we passed over there, and this is about the area where I've seen a bear on the trail. But there's another spot up here, over there, where you can kind of see back where we first started, um, and that there I've seen a bunch of moose before, so that's still coming up. Because it just seems so close to the front. I mean, that's that's a vehicle right there. Yeah, so that's the road that we're parked over there. Trailing behind a little bit. <laughs> okay, now. Yeah. There she is behind those trees. Rock. <laughs> That's funny. Rock. <laughs> this, is it. rock. this way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, there's a rock. <laughs> oh, I almost. Whoa. Please, somebody like, picked it up and like dropped it. Aliens. Wow. Lots of from the crack. It's going to tip over. You gotta do the honors of putting the. No, you have to set. put it on first. Then we take the picture. Yeah. See another magnet there. Did somebody leave no, one up there? Magnet. Look at Jody. Yeah. Here we go. It don't work. <laughs> Is it too heavy? And it's not a strong enough magnet. Wow. Oh no! The moose crashed. You can feel some magnetism to it. Right here. I don't think it's strong enough to hold the moose on this. Try right here. Over there. Wow. There's a lot of iron right here. Surface of help. Along the strip. Sad. Should we walk all the way over here? Where's the other magnet? Where's the other magnet? Show them that one sticking to the rock since I literally just found that right there. And the moose is. See, we promised it sticks. <laughs> just <laughs> the moose is too heavy. That's a bummer. Oh no, an ear broke off too. Isn't it crazy how like it just looks like it just landed here? Like how does it look like that? And then like all this is just like coming up. Right. So some people say it was glaciers. Some people say they don't know how it happened for sure. I say aliens. <laughs> Did you have a theory, Corey? Uh, no, no theory. I mean, really obviously layers it. should be horizontal, so something picked it up or drove it up from the bottom. Oh, I'm guys. saying a glacier came Oops. through. Also, it's like putting an axe um, underneath something and then pushing up on it. Kind of just one, tips it. One up. more emergency gives it more story. So you know how I'm missing a leg? 
Now she's missing an ear too. <laughs> ah. You fell once already today. Oh, the magnet. A nice picnic spot over here. No, this is the magnetic rock for anybody that sees this. What are you doing? Sticking a magnet to a shard of rock. Cool. Mm. Very cool. This is the true magnetic rock. It will be hiding right here. You can see some of the trees that were burned in the Ham Lake fire over a decade ago now. And they're charred and look almost fresh burnt. It's crazy. Some of the trees are down and some are still standing and just are dead. And some places like this really haven't grown back very tall yet. And I think maybe it's because there's just not a lot of nutrients, not a lot of soil, it's just rock. No. Last night there were northern lights out. Um, we got to see that up here, right down at the beach at the lodge. We took pictures, Nora and I both did. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna teach them how to do a moose call. Okay, so maybe you've seen people like do the loon calls by hand or like a train whistle. Sorry. I'm gonna show you how to do a moose call with your hands. So I try to do this over video. So you take your hands and you wanna put your fingers together. I like to have my right pinky on the bottom so you probably wanna do it now with me. And then with your thumbs, you want to like cross it over a little bit at the top and again I like to put my right thumb under the bottom and then you want to open up your hand so you, I don't know if you can tell it's like flat open flat open I like to open it so you should actually be able to see through from the front to the back there should be a little hole are you ready and then you put your mouth up to the hole remember when it's open and you go here, Moose! <laughs> Pretty good? Yeah. It works. <laughs> it's my only joke. <laughs> and I stole it. It's not even mine. You fell for it. I fell for it, yeah. So I only know that joke because I fell for it. When I was working on the zip line a long time ago, not that long ago, <laughs> at Gunflint Lodge, another one of the guides, Jack, he did that to us. Not exactly like I did, but something like that on the zip line. And I was one of the guides too. And I was doing it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna learn how to make a moose call. Like Jack never showed me this before. And I like do it. <laughs> I'm ready. He goes, here moose, really loud. And I think I was the one that was tricked more than anybody else on the tour. So but yeah. thanks Jack for the joke. Comment if you fell for it or tell us your reaction because we want to read through them and that'd be really funny. <laughs>